our intention, again, all things going to plan, is to uh, offer a briefing to the uh, party leaders and their teams uh, this evening, um, and to uh, offer a similar briefing to SDLP Alliance and uh, the Lord and Iron Green Party tomorrow morning. Uh, when it comes to, to the backstop, I think it's always important that we remember what the backstop is. Uh, the backstop is not our preferred solution. Uh, it is a fallback. It is an insurance policy. Uh, that it is our intention that the backstop should never have to be invoked. And if it is invoked, it should only be temporary uh, until such a time as a new agreement is in place. And I've heard what you said about the phone call with Prime Minister May. Uh, bear in mind that cabinet meeting begins at two. It may not yet finish by five, so we'll just have to see how this plays out uh, over the course uh, of the day. Uh, and certainly what we want to be able to do is to give uh, everyone the text, not just a briefing about the text. We actually want to give you the text. Uh, but I do remember the day when the German Parliament saw elements of our budget before our Parliament did. Um, and that has to work both ways. Uh, we've had enormous support and solidarity from other EU member states and other EU institutions all along. And I don't want to be putting into the public domain uh, documents that people uh, in those parliaments haven't seen either. So it's really important this is all done at the same time uh, and done uh, from, uh, from Brussels, uh, that the Good Friday Agreement uh, will be protected. And that includes a recognition of the fact that we respect the territorial integrity of the United Kingdom and that we respect the principle of consent, that there can be no change to the constitutional status of Northern Ireland unless a majority of people in Northern Ireland um, say so. Yeah, Tisha, yesterday the draft Brexit withdrawal agreement was agreed between the EU and British negotiators and after all the, the machinations of the past year and a half, all the toing and froing and all of the false starts, I want to welcome the fact that we might have a suitable deal on, on the table. From the beginning of this process, we have consistently called for a special deal for the North of Ireland, reflective of the North's unique status, reflective of the vote that was cast in the North, and one that ensures that no hard border on our island, one that ensures that citizens' rights would be protected, and ensures that the Good Friday Agreement and all its parts would be protected and upheld. And one of the core issues, Tisha, is the issue of the Irish backstop. Uh, which in our view remains the bottom line in ensuring that there is never a hard border on the island of Ireland, that the interests of citizens are upheld and that the Good Friday Agreement in all its parts is protected. And that re protection remains absolutely vital and the British Government must be held to the commitment they made last December. Perhaps some sense will prevail in Downing Street this afternoon and I hope that is the case. The DUP, for their part, are already out of the traps opposing what is potentially on the table, and that doesn't surprise any of us, any of us on this side of the House. In opposing any positive solutions, they have aligned themselves with the most right-wing elements of the Tory party, the UKIP and the extremist Brexiteers, and moving from an initial position of wanting no hard border uh, on the island of Ireland to actively, it now appears, seeking one. Uh, in my view, they're living in a fantasy land when it comes to Brexit. 